In this video, we are going to simplify the following number. The square root of 4 minus 2 times the square root of 3. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. It could be a bit hard if you haven't seen the trick before, so let's try to rephrase this problem to make it look less ugly. It could be rephrased as some number, let's call it question mark, squared to be equal to 4 minus 2 times square root of 3, and you will have to solve for question mark. So let's try to square some expressions that involve sets and see what we would look like. For example, let's try something simple first. Say 1 plus square root of 2, which involves the smallest numbers. And if I square that, I will get 1 squared plus 2 times 1, let's use brackets to make it more visible, times root 2 plus square root of 2 all squared. And simplifying, I will get 3 plus 2 times square root of 2. Now let's see if I try to square some expression that involves two sets, not just one set. For example, uh, square root of 2 plus square root of 3 all squared, and then I will get square root 2 whole squared plus 2 times root 2 times root 3 plus root 3 all squared. And simplifying, you will get 5 plus 2 times square root of 6. So you can see that whenever you're asking some number squared equals to um, equal to some expression that involves thirds, then it can take two forms. Or actually just one form, because I can replace the 1 by square root of 1. So actually I can write that as the square of sum of two square roots. But for our main problem, we're asking about 4 minus 2 times square root of 3. So there is some fundamental difference. We're having minus, and down below, I'm having plus. So let's see what will happen. I mean, how can we get something that involves a minus sign? Now, a few more examples. So if I turn to root 2 minus root 3 instead, instead of plus, all squared, then I will get root 2 squared minus 2 times root 2 minus root 3 plus root 3 all squared. Basically just replacing the middle term by minus, not, not plus. So simplifying, I will get 5 minus 2 times root 6. So actually, to achieve a minus after squaring, we need minus before squaring as well. So from this we can say that square root of 5 minus 2 root 6 should be root 2 minus root 3. But if you take a closer look, you will find that this deduction is actually wrong because for the right hand side, root 2 is less than root 3. So the number here is negative, but once we apply the radical sign on any number, or any positive number, or any non-negative number, our results must also be non-negative. In particular, if I take a radical sign on a positive number, I must have some positive number as well. So I cannot simply say it's root 2 minus root 3, but I have to multiply minus 1 on the whole number, which means I should write that as root 3 minus root 2 instead. So actually, if I am trying to simplify a square root that involves a minus sign, then I should make sure that our result should be in the correct order, which means I am having a larger square root minus a smaller square root. So to solve for The square root of 4 minus 2 times root 3, I should be considering
the number of the form root a minus root b, and I claim that when it's squared, it's equal to 4 minus 2 times root 3. At the same time, I add an extra constraint where a is larger than b. So now let's try to solve this. From our results above, if we try to expand that, I will get root a squared minus 2 times root a times root b plus root b all squared equals 4 times 4 minus 2 times root 3. So simplifying, I will get a plus b minus 2 times root a b equals 4 minus 2 times root 3. Now notice that whenever I solve for one solution for a and b, then I'm actually done because I've managed to find the unique positive number so that when it's squared, it's equals to 4 minus 2 times root 3. So I can boldly claim that I can solve for a solution where a plus b equals to 4. So I can consider the system. This is the first equation. Well, the second equation is that a b equals 3. So then I'm actually forcing a plus b and 4 to be like terms, while root a b and root 3 are another pair of like terms. And then I'll just consider the system instead. Now from this, we can quickly solve it. because we are simply solving quadratic equations. And when, so now a equals three or one, either three or one. Now when a is three, we know that b is one. And when a is one, b is three, but we have to reject this case because we know that a should be larger than b under our setup. So this has to be a solution. And so that means we know that therefore root 3 minus root 1 all squared equals 4 minus 2 times root 3. And so at last we can claim that our square root can be simplified into root 3 minus 1. So this is the final answer for the problem in the thumbnail. So basically what I've done just now for the past few minutes can be simply can be summarized by this formula, which is that the square root of a plus b plus or minus 2 times square root of a b is actually can be simplified into just square root of a plus or minus square root of b by fixing a to be a number that is larger than b. So now we can proceed to something slightly more complicated, which is the square root of 7 plus 4 times square root of 3. Now a difference between this and what we have done previously is that I'm multiplying the, by the third by some number that is not exactly equal to 2. Now I'm multiplying, I'm multiplying by 4. So to use a similar trick, I'm going to turn it back to square root of 7 plus 2 times some other third. So to do this, I'm going to rewrite the 4 into 2 times 2 times root 3. So to force this term inside the radical sign to be 2 times something else, 2 times something else. And I'm going to rewrite the green part into simply one single third. Even this is not at its simplified form. So to do this, I can, I'm going to proceed by 7 plus 2 times square root of 3 times 2 squared, basically moving the 2 into the inner square root. 
and so we will have square root of 7 plus 2 times the square root of 12. Now from this, I can go back to our formula, which is to consider the system 2 numbers with sum equals 7. and the product to be equal to 12. Now again, we can solve for this system very quickly. B equals 7 minus A, and so A times this expression equals 12, simplifying we will have a squared minus 7a plus 12 equals 0. So that means a is equal to either 4 or 3. Of course, we want a to be a larger one. So with either this or when a is 3, then b is 4. Now we have to reject this. So this is the one that we want. So therefore, the square root of 7 plus 4 times root 3 is actually equal to root 4 plus root 3. Now we can simplify that into 2 plus square root of 3. Now from this, we can actually extend this to almost all kinds of these sets and simplify that. Feel free to give a leave in the comments if you have any other fabulous methods.